Welcome to the WT FFF Special Series, brought to you by the Z and 3D print teams from HP, where your hosts, Tom and Tracy Hazard, explore the all about the what of 3D workflows from concept to print. Hey, everybody, we're back. That's right. Welcome back to WT FFF and our, our special series. I'm so excited about this special series. So the special series is sponsored by HP and Z by HP. And it's really, I'd say sponsored, like that sounds passive. This is not passive in any way. It's been a great collaboration and I'm so excited for you to start hearing all of the results of um, our collaboration together with them. Yeah, now just to give you an idea, we're recording this first episode after we have recorded most of this series that we're doing with HP. And, you know, I'm really happy to let you know that there's a lot of wonderful new things to learn about what's happening in the 3D printing industry today. And you might think, well, it's sponsored by HP, so is it all completely self-serving? And I'm happy also to say it's really not. HP is doing so much to serve the 3D print industry and community and putting money into helping advance the entire industry. And there's so much to learn and talk about there. It's really exciting. Right. And, you know, and I love the way we all structured this. So this is what you can expect. We're, we're talking about global trends and, and we're talking about education. We're talking about creativity and design. We're talking about 3D printing. We're talking about design to print. And really we're talking, we're covering the end to end solution from creation to production and, um, and, including the creative workflow, which is Tom and I just love that we, that, you know, that they wanted to partner with us so that we could talk more about the design, right? So we could talk 3D design and not just HP 3D design so that we would interject and talk to you about our perspectives as designers and, and as a uh, design for manufacturing and all the things that we have experiences in so that we could really bring that together. You know, the 3D creative workflow is really different than a normal creative workflow. And I think that's really come across that where it seemed cumbersome to us and sometimes, and it felt like you were hacking the system, it feels like it's getting smoother. And I think that's why it's exciting again. Well, smoother and with much more capability, there have been some big advancements in not only just, cre you know, 3D design and how, you know, HP is helping 3D design and, and some of the software tools that are available now to do more than you be, have been able to do in the past. Some of it using... VR, AR, or what is it now called? XR. XR. Yep. I mean, very cool stuff that is making it easier for you to take what's in your mind that you want to create and to create it, visualize it in real 3D space, be uninhibited, and then be able to really convert that to something tangible to have it made. Things have come a long way, and 3D printing itself has come a long way since we recorded our last episode more than a year ago. Right, and you guys have heard us over the years, if you've been fans for a while, you've heard us complain about color in 3D and like all of those things, and a lot of that has changed. So it's time for us to update. So the really interesting part about the way this series is going to be structured, and I want to give you a heads up on that so that you understand what you're going to be hearing, is that we've got new interviews with people who you may not have ever met or heard of before because they're from behind the scenes at HP or some of their partner companies. And so they're, they're, they're not always out in the forefront. They might be doing webinars behind the scenes, but if you're not already a client, you haven't gotten to meet them. And some of them are the most brilliant, amazing people that they are kind of, they, they've got kind of a corner on the market of brilliance right over there. And I've really been astounded, not just that their resumes, you know, are amazing, but what we're really seeing is that their excitement and their interest and their passion for 3D printing, for 3D design, for the creative workflow, it's all there. They want this whole thing to improve for themselves as much for, for the customers that they have. Well, and, and truly for the whole industry too. You know, I know I said it before and I don't want to overemphasize it, but the reality is even if you are more of someone in the desktop 3D printing world and you've never seen or even used a, a HP 3D printer, that's okay. There is something in this series for everyone. And, and really where I am have been really impressed to see where HP is, is, has the vision and is taking things in 3D printing 
is actually 3D manufacturing. It's not, you know, going beyond samples and prototypes, but actual end product 3D printing is a big part of it. Yeah, and I love that they're, we're having conversations of what, what they call and what is called in standard industry. 4.0 and that industry with an IE, like the international standard of it. And I love that they're talking about it because they're talking about enhancing the design process so we can get to that industry 4.0. And that's critically important in how we do things. And otherwise, we're not going to get to that ideal of 3D manufacturing and quality control and like all the things that we felt was missing in order for us to run a, a, a truly end product 3D business. So it started to energize us and, and think about this. The other thing that I love about what has happened here is that they've decided to um, incorporate into the series and they hand selected some of our older episodes and asked us to do updates on those episodes because the content is still extremely relevant today, but there might be some new information and new things that we want to bring in and bring to you. And then to top it all off, because we're recording this amid the COVID-19 uh, shelter in place uh, pandemic, we decided that we would um, add in a special episode there. And while that sounds maybe if you're listening to this at some point in the future and you feel it's not relevant, let me tell you it is because there's a lot of things that are, are accelerating that ecosystem process right now that are going to make changes to that, that new industry 4.0 for the future. It's going to become the new standard. So I really don't want you to miss that episode thinking that it's all about that. We're not talking about illnesses and we're not talking about, we're going to talk about what's exciting and what's changing and what's being forced into being created. And we're talking about ingenuity and innovation and creation in that process. Well, and in some ways, survival and saving people's lives and how 3D printing has been instrumental in doing that and all these workflows and processes. So, yeah, there, there is some current news relevant, you know, subject matter in some of these episodes as well. As I, I also want to be very clear, some of these episodes that HP asked us to bring back, they're not reruns. No. Okay. They're really not. There is just using some of the relevant content from some past WTFFF episodes, what's new, what's changed, and how it's still relevant today. So you're going to get something new out of every single episode for sure, even if you've been a longtime WTFFF listener. Yeah, absolutely. I love that all, all of that part of it. But you know, I just realized Tom, that there might be some new people who are just coming into this um, and who have never met us before. Oh, and I goodness. realized like we didn't really totally introduce ourselves. I mean, we gave our names, but let's just make a, do a little bit of that. We mean, we don't want this show to be all about us, but we do want to set the tone for those of you who are brand new to us and have never met us before, understand where we're coming from. And why are why we bringing this to you? Why us? Okay. Well, that's a good point. So, yeah. So first things first, WTFFF podcast has been here for almost for over five years. We've, it, we've hit over, right. five years. over five years. Yeah, yeah. So we've been here for five years. We've done um, 585 episodes, according to our counter. We're, we're a little unhesitant about whether or not it's 565, 585, but our counter says 585. And so, yeah, so we've covered uh, like the gamut of things. But one of the things that we do again and again is we talk 3D design. And we talk design process, design creative flow, how to create a viable business, a profitable business in that. And why? Why us? Why can we do that, Tom? Well, Tracy and I have been in product design and development everywhere from the earliest concept of an idea that might become a product all the way through to, you know, design, prototyping, sampling, short run manufacturing long run, huge mass market manufacturing, we have developed over 250 retail consumer products that you've probably bought a lot of them and didn't even know it because we were always designing behind the scenes for another brand. Right. We call ourselves ghost designers, right? So we used to design for companies that you've heard of. We were, we, we've worked with Herman Miller. We've worked with Milliken, a large textile company. We've worked with lots of furniture companies that you've heard of. Um, so all of that has been out there and we produce products that are in Target and Walmart and Costco. And they do about, I mean, the, we stopped counting a couple of years ago, but they did about $2 billion at that point. And some of the products are still in the market today. So yes. that's $2 billion for our clients who are getting it at wholesale, you know, are selling it at a wholesale price. So thinking about that, that that's a lot of product on the market that we have experience in it. And what, why are we successful in that has been a tie through every episode that we've ever done in the show. And it's sort of, we highlight those things that are, that are 
um, strengths, right? Those things that are, are make our process successful, allow us to do it with a small team. But one of the things that we've had to do is like create this tight hold on the design process and the design integrity and hold it all the way through first run production with our clients, even through sales presentations, marketing presentations. Like we've had to like step into almost every aspect of that early start of a business and, and of a product launch with our clients in order to keep control over that. So I'm loving some of the things that I keep hearing in the global trend moves and the industry 4.0 that is going to allow a big data move so that designers like us could stay in the creative and not have to become business and, you know, not have to travel so much and to do all of that. So this is just giving you a little bit of background and, and just a little personal on a personal note, because you'll hear it interjected at time to time. Tom and I am, are married. So yeah, we've been together 28 years. Right. Um, we met our first day at college. Um, at Rhode and, Island School of Design. And we've been working together most of those years. We've each spent a little time here there working for other companies, but the majority of our careers, we've been independent and working together. And um, we love that. It's, yeah. it's been a wonderful thing. But, you know, just to also bring it back to our 3D printing experience a little bit, in designing and developing products for other companies, we've been using 3D printing for many years before the reemergence of the desktop 3D printing industry as those longtime patents expired from Stratasys and companies like that. Uh, and then, of course, when desktop 3D printing became all the rage, we wanted to jump in and did and experimented and learned. And, and then, you know, as Tracy was a avid podcast listener, we realized there was a need and an opportunity for another podcast about 3D printing. There were a couple that were very techy. No people really focused on certain aspects of 3D printing. We thought we could help fill that role. And it, it worked very well. I mean, we've had a great response with, you know, hundreds of thousands of listeners over the years. And we've really enjoyed doing it. Um, but now, of course, as some of our focus has shifted away uh, from product design and development for other companies like we had done for so many years, um, as Tracy said, we, you know, it got to the point where a combination of where we were at in the industry, it just was not a uh, perfect uh, fit for us to keep publishing new episodes every week. Right. So that's why there's a pause in our volume. So there is a volume one, two, three. If this interests you and you're just finding it, there's a volume one, two, three. You can go back to and listen. You can find that at our web, on our website at 3dstartpoint.com. Um, and then the other thing is that we've not really done video before. So if you're, if you're hearing this and you're like, they are doing video now and I can get them on YouTube. And yes, you can. You can also catch them on the website and watch the videos there as well. Like that's a treat for a change. So well, for those of you who prefer that medium and you know it happens so <laughs> and yeah we are putting all these episodes out as video on a youtube channel and actually if you're listening to this as a podcast first you might go to the blog post for this episode on 3d startpoint.com i think forward slash hp is well, this it? episode will just be at 3d startpoint.com but the whole okay. series is outlined and there's all the information and all the new episodes so you can link directly to them but they'll also be on the home page Okay, well, so, but what I wanted to make sure you know if you're listening is there is a video and for this episode, and if you go to the website and check it out, you can play the video, you can see it or go to the YouTube channel, but we have actually a video background behind us here, which is actually a, a little, so up, a, so little a, a little repeating, <laughs> I would call it a undulating, a undulating <laughs> image of one of our 3d print designs in a few different colors and oh, you actually won an award you just you're being modest i forgot I you won, won an award, award. yeah you're you right. won an award for this so it's his award-winning uh tie design and so it's actually a tie and, and when tom was kind of famous for going to 3d print events and wearing the 3d print tie um it's an extremely challenging print and so we have uh and it was a very that. complex design but anyway we just abstracted it and made it into a cool background for the video <laughs> yeah. um so anyway you can check that out out and yeah. then they all of if you want to then uh 
you know, if you're listening to any episode and there's, you'd like to see any of our guest speakers, you know, uh, you can always, all the videos will be in the blog posts. Yeah. And a lot of them gave us um, visuals, charts, graphs, like, uh, you know, um, different types of uh, uh, diagrams that will help explain some things. They're fantastic. So, but they're only in the blog post. We couldn't really show them on video because we didn't do slide share. So you won't even see them on the video. You really got to go to the blog post for the episodes to find them. If you're having difficulty finding them because we have so many blog posts because we have as many as we have episodes. Um, that's why we created the 3dstartpoint.com forward slash HP. And as each new episode airs, the link to that blog post will be there. It'll be the place you want to go. Plus, if there's any call to action, like um, somebody says, hey, we have got a research paper for you, or there's a video on this, there, those links will also be available right there, shortcuts for you to go get those items. So that will be at 3dstartpoint.com forward slash HP, as I mentioned. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get onto the series and let I'm, it go. I'm really excited too. It, it's been a blast and we're not done recording all the episodes yet as we're recording this first one. I'm sure by the time it publishes, they will all be done, but it's some really exciting stuff. So we really hope you enjoy it and we'd love to hear from you. If you know you have any questions, comments, you can do that. We are everywhere at 3D Startpoint, isn't that right? Um, actually, we're really everywhere at Has Design. At, oh, at we... 3D Startpoint is more of our team. If you want to get Tom oh, okay. and I, which usually means you want to get me because I'm the one who's on those social media accounts, <laughs> you want to go at Has Design and remember that Has with two Zs, H A Z Z Design. So, thanks everyone. I'm really excited that you're joining us for this new series. And so stay tuned. The next episode will be following this one up pretty quick. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. We'll talk to you then. This is Tracy and Tom. On WTFFF. Thanks for listening to the WTFFF special series brought to you by the Z and 3D print teams from HP. You can access all the resources mentioned in this episode and all the other episodes in this series by going to 3dstartpoint.com slash HP. We invite you to reach out to us on social at 3D Startpoint and at Z by HP and let us know what you are creating in 3D.